Hi folks, Alice here. Does this look different? It should look different. I'm using the uh, camera on the computer. Husband's idea. Shout out to my husband, Mike. Love him so much. Okay, so what we're going to do today is we are going to do a painting for my grandson, Robert Decky. You're the one. You make the time so much fun. Okay, I'm here to learn and to teach how to paint, not to sing. So what we are going to do is I'm going to paint this whole canvas blue. I'm gonna, oh, you know, we'll get into that. Don't, don't jump ahead yet. Um, we're gonna paint the whole canvas blue, then we're gonna put the duck on it, make a little bit of bubbles around the duck. Call it a day. I'm excited. I'm excited about this one. <coughs> Excuse me. Take a drink of my coffee. All right. So, oh, talk about the palette. Let's do the palette. Easy palette today. Ultramarine blue. Step back here. Titanium white. Cad yellow. Brilliant yellow. Mars black. Wow. <laughs> Don't even have to do that. I am getting my one inch square brush, my flat brush. And I'm going to take it into my blue, add some white to it. And we're just going to come in. And paint the canvas. And I am just going back and, oh yeah, oh my God, look at that. You can see that so much better. Okay, yeah, a bigger angle, wider view. Yeah, so we're just going to paint this. And I like to leave textured background. Like I like to leave the background textured like this. See it in the sunlight? Now you can also, if you wanted to, just go back and forth across your canvas and create a nice, nice smooth background. See that between the two in the sunlight, smooth and textured? I like mine textured. Gonna turn that over and do the same. Let's do this side. Just nice and like X's or C's or whatever. Whatever you want to use. You don't even have to use blue for our background. You can use red or green or whatever, right? What I'm going to do now is I'm going to paint my edges. Paint, 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 paint my edges. Paint to turn it around. And paint, paint, paint my edges. And if you're wondering where I got the picture of the duck, I am not an artist. I got that off Google. Google duck images. Duck images, perfect, perfect for our duck. And guess what we have to do? right folks we have to dry it and you know what that brush is done we don't need to use that brush again here's the hair dryer and turn it on and dry it dry 
dry, dry, dry. Because I don't know if this has... It does have a little pause button up there. Okay, but yeah, I didn't want to touch anything because the first time I did my first video, I hit the stop button instead of the pause button. Who knew? Remember, it's dry when it's not shiny anymore. And you don't want to use a hot, hot setting on your dryer. You want to use the lowest setting that you have. You don't want to, like, cook your paint. You just want to dry it. We're not working with oils, you know, where it's got to cure and sit on the shelf for two years before it's finally done. No, 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 no. No, we don't want that. We work with acrylics. Easy peasy. You can paint over it if you're not happy with it. Okay, so what we're going to do now, well, what we're going to do now is place our image on top of our canvas and what do I have here? Where did it go? 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 I have There it is. Tracing paper. Tracing paper. This cost, you would not believe how much this one sheet of tracing paper cost at Michael's. And it took me forever to find it. Oh my God, it took me forever to find it. I had to ask somebody. It wasn't in the drawing section and it wasn't in the craft section. So, I think that's just the paper that covers it. This is your tracing paper. So we want to make sure that we're putting chalk side down the tracing paper. Bring it up. You can just hold that. Static can pretty much hold that. And what we're going to do is I'm just going to trace my duck. And if you want, you can freehand your duck on there. And I probably could have freehanded my duck on there too. But you know what? I spent all this money on this tracing paper. See if it's working. Here we go. Now I'm going to <coughs> put this back over my chalk paper, right? You know what? We can just fold it. Fold your tracing paper and tuck that away. I have mine right there. Now we're going to lift it. And we have a duck image. I don't know if you can, no, you probably can't see that. There you go, you can see a little bit of it. There it is, the duck image. Yay, transfer paper. You know what I'm gonna do now is, I'm gonna take my chalk. 
and I'm just going to go, I thought I had a, I do, thought I had a one with a tip on it, I'm just going to go over my duck. Rubber ducky. Rubber ducky. Okay, what we're going to do is paint in our yellow duck. What we're going to do first is we're going to paint in the darker highlights. So we're going to use the CAD the cad yellow. You know what? We're going to trace the entire duck in cad yellow. Can't really see it. It's kind of transparent. It's kind of transparent. Hmm. I think maybe we should add some white to it. You know what? We can always go back and add white to it. Let's trace our duck out. into our bright yellow and let's just paint him in and see what he looks like. I'm wondering if we should add some white to that. I know. Butter duck in. I got a fine detail brush here. Very fine detail brush. Very, very fine detail brush. This is a number two round. Number two. So what we're going to do is we're going to dip into our black. We're going to go into our eye. Oh, shit. Do you see that? The canvas moved. Try 
face around our eye. So we got our eye. But you know what? That part's black, so we're lucky. <laughs> Trace the eye up top here. Okay. You're going to trace the eye right here. And then you're going to come in and you're just going to paint that part in with the black. Just like that. Okay? Now what we're going to do, <coughs> excuse me, is take out, rinse our detail brush off, and then fill in the white. Probably should have waited for the black to dry because I don't want to get any gray in there. Just like that. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to take the white and just paint in his eyes, his eyes white. Just like that. I'm just going to go back over the black here a bit. I slipped. Oh, shit. Kleenex right here. Too much water on my brush. I didn't properly tap it off when I brought it out of the water. Now, what we're going to do is that duck still, yeah, he's still wet. He's still wet. He's still wet. Is, we're going to paint in his beak. So we'll get our orange. And you know what? You can do this with a detail brush, which we probably should have done. Because it's pretty small. So I'm just going to get my detail brush, go around his nose. I really should have added some light to this. We still can. You know why? Because it's acrylic and we can do what we want. He's coming into shape. So now if we want, you know what, let's just dry the duck up a bit right down here so that way we can get in here and paint the bubbles and stuff. No, we will just dry up here. It's just the duck. And that way we can do the beef and everything. Guess what? I'm going to do it anyway. So what we're going to do is we are going to, I'm going to paint in that beak. I got to get that beak painted in. It's really, okay. So I'm going to paint that beak in. Oh shit. See that? The freaking canvas moved again. Okay. 
There we go. What we're going to do now is go into our yellow, bright yellow, like our brilliant yellow. Pull in some white. And then, oh yeah. Then we're just going to paint our duck his final coat. Watch coming around by the orange, folks. take some of our white and just go in and make bows. Careful with the yellow. What else we can do? We can do like a little bubble here, a little bubble here, little bubble. Now we're just improvising with little bubbles. is available. Oh my gosh, I better check this out. Jesse Thursday cataloging. Where is it? It's 1945 Wilson Ave, Toronto. minutes without traffic. Holy crap, it's all the way almost to Mrs. No way. 62 kilometers one way. So, I'm going to get my big brush. I'm going to see if I can get some of that. No, I'm going to have to get some of the Ultramarine out. Ultramarine, sorry. The ultramarine. And the white. Yeah. Just mix it back up. Just paint over those bubbles. See, now we can even go back in, and if you want to, we can add more, like, texture around the duck, so it kind of looks like a bubble bath. Let's 
some more ultramarine blue. Need some more of that. Oh shoot, need some more light. out those bubbles that I put in oh my god those were just terrible so guess what we're gonna do now we are going to take this brush number two detail brush or sorry number two round we're gonna go into the black and we are going to trace our duck oh shit I can't trace my duck yet because I painted that in canvas. So to speak, with the black, you're like, oh my god, what is she going to do? She's tracing it out in black. Yes, we're going to trace it out in black, folks. <clears throat> I'm just going to go this way. Oh, you can't even see. I'm going to just turn my painting. I'm going to turn my painting because I want... Oh shit, see it did it again. I want to come around with my brush nice and steady. Nice and steady with my brush. Thank you. 
rubber ducky. Rubber ducky for my grandson. Easy peasy rubber ducky tutorial. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed this video with the wide screen. You know, hopefully that helped. Hopefully we picked up some, uh, some more followers. So if you like it, hit like, hit share, make a comment, subscribe. Make me famous. Okay, thanks, folks.